Community energy can be about lots of different things. It can be about collective ownership of renewable installations, making the energy supply fairer for those in the community by educating and lobbying for a better deal. And it can be about making the existing system run more efficiently. Community energy focuses on the renewable and the sustainable, which is a shift from the current system dominated by large polluting corporations which use fossil fuels, which can have huge negative impacts both on the environment and on people's health. In order to exist safely and justly, we must stay within the bounds of this framework. Community energy addresses the environmental concerns such as climate change and pollution, and also strengthens the social foundation in areas such as income, education and voice. Another issue with the current system of fuel provision is the prevalence of fuel poverty. In the UK, 10.3% of people qualify as fuel poor, where their fuel costs are above the national median and in order to meet these costs they must live below the poverty line. Fuel poverty is affected by three factors, energy efficiency, energy prices and incomes. It's also more prevalent in rural areas, as investment often focuses on more densely populated urban areas and because rural homes are typically more energy inefficient and therefore more expensive to run. Community energy also has many social benefits. It brings people together towards a collective aim, strengthening social cohesion and putting local knowledge to use. Bring together lots of different ideas to meet a shared aim that everyone can benefit from. Benefits of community energy are things like keeping from rising fuel costs, energy security, and creating an income which can be put towards further strengthening the community. As the community energy movement grows, so do the organisations and systems in place to support it. The feed in scheme was a system whereby communities could generate income by selling the energy generated. They had to meet the upfront costs, but then could be exempted from rising fuel costs. The feed in tariff system was incredibly successful, however, it closed the new applicants in 2019. Currently running is the Rural Community Energy Fund, a £50 million fund by DEFRA and the Department for Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy, which focuses on getting new projects off the ground by funding feasibility studies and planning permission applications. One incredibly successful community energy project is the village of Hockerton in rural Nottinghamshire. We actually think it's a, a crucially important thing that we do something about the ridiculous consumption of energy in this country, um, of non-sustainable energy that is. We felt that this was an excellent combination, community, environment, things went really well together. Hockerton funded a wind turbine by selling shares in a small company formed to organise the project. A third of the shares were sold to people living in the village and further shares were sold via their website and email marketing. Additional funding coming from council grants. They overcame planning permission concerns over noise and wildlife impact and with the feed-in tariff scheme, we're able to generate £60,000 per year by selling on the energy generated. With the money from this, they've been able to offer energy efficiency grants to homes in the village for things such as loft insulation and more energy efficient light bulbs, and also to carry out energy surveys to look into how they could expand their project in future. The project has also created jobs in the village, as while the directors remain volunteers, day-to-day -day management has been subcontracted to a local company. In fact, Hoggerton has had such success with its community energy that they now run training courses for other communities looking to run similar projects. Community energy addresses the three pillars of sustainability. Social, by bringing communities together and educating people about climate change. The economic, by tackling fuel poverty and generating funding for other projects. And the environmental, by using renewable energy and reducing fossil fuel use. There are over 5,000 community energy, energy products in the UK currently, and by 2050, the National Grid estimates that 65% of energy in the UK could be locally generated. Community energy is going to be crucial to decarbonise the UK economy.